What's going on everybody? Out here gonna do some target practice today. So recently I picked up a new Varbening uh, rifle and I've had it actually for a few months. So I got it, it was bare bones gun, didn't have a scope on it. I picked one up uh, specifically made for it. What it is is it's a 17 HMR Savage. It's the B17 model. So it didn't come with a scope. I picked up a Hawk scope for it. I personally think it's going to serve me pretty well. Uh, I, the reason I picked it out was I'm typically a Vortex guy. That's the scope that I have on my deer rifle. I absolutely love it. I would buy another one and had full intensive purposes of buying another one whenever I got this rifle. However, when I went to my local shop, they didn't have any Vortex scopes. They switched up to the Hawk. So I was kind of wanting a scope. I didn't want to order one online and wait for it. Uh, and then I didn't know if the jarring around of the shipping would mess with some of the reticles. So I, uh, I just went ahead and pulled the trigger, so to speak, and I got me the Hawk scope. So the reason I got this scope is I'll throw an image up on the screen now. It actually has the marked out yardage uh, for this rifle. So it starts it dead on at 100 yards and then it works up by uh, to 150 and then up 100 yard increments after that. So I have got it pretty close to dead on at 50 yards. Uh, I'll show you that here. I went and started off, I thought I was on a lot closer than I ended up being. I uh, had them bore sight this at the shop in town, but I was hitting here right off, pulled it down some more, pulled it down, and then I worked it down. I actually shot here, then here, and then I moved it up. So I got some hits on target. I should be able to hit that way down there at 100 yards and uh, have a pretty good little varmin rifle. I'm shooting the CCI A17 varmint tip, 17 grain bullet. It's going to be moving at 2650, 2650 feet per second. So uh, there I got her all laid out. Uh, you can probably tell that from the original uh, thumbnail you've seen, uh, I had a bipod on it. I do. It's in the truck. I took it off. Uh, I'm probably not going to put it on. If I do, I'll probably put a different one on. And the reason is it's starting to rub on the end of my barrel. And honestly, that just really aggravates me. That's something I can't stand. So I won't be doing that. This is the Hawk Scope. It is a 5 by 12 power, uh, 40 millimeter lens. And it also has the capabilities to turn on like a red dot feature over on this side. So, gonna go ahead and get you set up. I'm gonna put some shots down range and I'll be right back with you. All right, first shot at a hundred yards. That one was a little low. I'm going to put another one just to make sure I didn't pull it.
So the good news is, I mean, I got them right there. They're almost touching uh, about an inch low, it looks like, and about another inch to the right. So I need to bring it up and over. So glad I didn't jerk it. At least there's two of them right there close together. So we'll head back and we'll see if we can migrate these here. Okay, I've made my adjustments one inch up and one inch to the left. That one was high. That one was high also, so I'm going to bring it down uh, just a touch, and then I'll go give you guys a look. All right, first two shots, of course. Then, I don't know where this came from, but I was up here, and then I pulled it over here, and now at least I'm touching red. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and aim for one of these corner pieces that's a little smaller. That way I can kind of fine tune it. Uh, and then I think we should be good. take a shot on one of those smaller squares. Oh, I did hit the red on the bottom left target. So feeling pretty good about it. I'll give it one more and I think we'll call it good. Red again, I'm sure of it.
go take a look. All right, well, I was wrong when I got down here. Look at this. I get down here, I'm aiming for here. I'm assuming I've seen this white outer ring here. I hit all the way over here. Now there is a touch of wind, but I'll be honest, look at that grass over there. It's right at my back. I mean, it's, it's blowing into this hillside. So what I'm gonna do is, I still think I can hit where I'm aiming. Like I should be able to keep it in this little red circle here, about the size of a dime. I'm gonna try and shoot this clip, see if I can get it off there. I mean, at the very least, you watch me shoot my GoPro. So that would be cool too. But maybe here, gonna try and blow that paper clip up. See if I can do it. Now mind you, I'm filming this on my phone right now. My GoPro is down there. You're not gonna be able to see me make this shot. So all you're gonna be able to see is the target in the next clip. But that's gonna be me taking a shot down there at 100 yards trying to put that tiny 17 grain bullet through that clip. So, let's see if I can do it. All right, how about that? Now I know what you're thinking. He probably did 40 shots. No, that was one shot and I'll prove it to you. Look right here. Go back and count my shots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I just ejected this one. So we'll head down here and we will look at that paper clip because I know it moved, so I had to have hit it. Bingo. Got it. And almost just to the left. I mean, I had it right there because that's the part I could see against this black. So, I did it. Shot her through there and won. So, feeling pretty confident that that little gun's pretty, pretty spot on. I know this video is different. Everything's been different lately. Gas prices are affecting me the same as everybody else, so I'm not traveling a whole lot. There's a few things I'm just wanting to get done, kind of like this. I've had that gun for months, had that scope on it, been wanting to get it sighted in. There is a groundhog around my house. Uh, I've seen him on the way out. I'm glad I didn't take a shot at him because clearly I would have missed. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Think about subscribing if you'd like uh, some more videos like this. Uh, in the meantime, I'll be seeing you. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.